Hello and welcome to Mistress M. Now this week I'm reviewing a book. It's a book I didn't actually ever think I would read but uh, in the name of research and knowledge I decided that having had a go at this book for a very long time it was time to read The Game. Yep, I um, I've been shouty about this book for quite a long time. It has repulsed me and, and, and made me feel appalled for, for years. So, see, Boo doesn't even like me to talk about it. But um, I thought, look, to be fair, I'll read it. And I did read it. And it's actually a good read. I don't mind it. Admittedly, it's written by this guy, Neil Strauss, who is at the moment selling his soul to Satan by writing a book about celebrity gossip that he... I think he's swept it up off the floor of TMZ or something like that. But So I don't actually suggest going and buying this book. I actually suggest you borrow it from someone. And um, just ask any of your male friends. One of them will have it, whether they admit it or not. So I read it. I'll, um, I'll share basically a little bit about it. First of all, the dedication. If you were reading this, I want you to know that I wasn't running game on you. I was being sincere. Really you were different. So it gives you a little bit of an idea of um, how this guy's working it. So he starts off as a bit of a loser who can't pick up women and he finds out about this pickup artist groups and and so on and mystery is one of the the famed ones and he learns how to become a pickup artist and the first thing he learns to do is to have confidence and smile when he walks into a room. Who knew that would make him feel be able to pick up better. I mean, crazy stuff. Um, and then in the uh, in the notes that you get when you go to a first session with him, you actually get a, a, a list of things to do and then you get a list of negs to give a woman. So women, if you're out there and you're being told by a guy who's you thought might be trying to pick you up and he suddenly says, is that a wig? Oh, well it looks nice anyway. Or I think your hair would look better up or down, depending on what it is. And um, Oh, I like that skirt. I just saw a girl wearing it a few minutes ago. Anything like that that's negative, they're trying to pick you up with the game. And even if they're not, you know what? If men are being negative towards you, fuck them. I mean, don't actually fuck them. Um, just ignore them. It's ridiculous. Anybody who gives anybody else negative feelings about themselves for no good reason isn't a nice human being. Um, we did actually have one viewer write in and ask about what to do uh, when her partner or boyfriend, I'm not sure what, um, she was giving him a head job and he reviewed it. Which is fine because, you know, obviously you'd be the Margaret and go, that was a five and it was brilliant. But no, he was the David and he went, yeah, it was okay. Um, yeah, not the best I've had. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, the chick's got her cock around your mouth, uh, her mouth around your cock and you're saying, yeah. I'm not sure that's the best you can do. Now, maybe in the sports world this is a way of encouraging people to perform better, but when it comes to the bedroom, I think, you know, either clamp down really hard with your teeth at that point, or never see the guy again. Just a thought. Anyway, sorry, moving on. Negative bullshit, let's not have any of it. Let's all be confident and nice, and if you're out picking up, make people feel good about themselves, not bad about themselves. And this guy, I mean, what he went out and did was learn how to become a better person. He read a whole bunch of books on, on confidence and style. He got a vocal coach so he spoke better. He got a posture coach so he could walk better. He got a style coach so he could do fashion better and look better. Oh God, call me crazy. These things made it easier for him to pick up. Um, <laughs> you don't need to be negative and use these bullshit things. I mean, it might get you the numbers but it's not going to get you the quality. Um, oh my, he's actually he's out picking up at one point and he actually comments on the fact that he was talking to this woman. She was so interesting I hardly needed to game her. I actually didn't even have to fake finding interest in her. She was interesting enough already. What, what, what are you doing talking to women you don't actually find interesting? Yeah hang on hang on. By the same token though, by the same token though most women are in fact boring as batshit. Most women are in fact living tepid ordinary lives in their tepid ordinary shells, in their useless, friggin' worthless, pointless existences. And these guys who are interested in vagina 
uh, can't just come out and say, I would like to put my penis in your vagina repeatedly over the next uh, couple of weeks to enjoy sexual satisfaction. Yeah, um, they have to go through this frigmarole of pretending that um, her job as a PA or as a secretary to an architect um, is somehow worthwhile when it's freaking not. If these people disappeared, there'd be hardly a ripple left on the surface. It would be a shame not to take a piece of that poontang with you before she went. I mean, frankly, yes, guys do have to feign interest. They don't care about the fucking vendettas in the office. They don't give a crap that you're paid 18% less than men. They don't give a rat's ass that your mother has some form of bone disorder that makes her crotchety in the right cheek of a morning. I don't give a rat's ass about any of that. I'm interested laser pointed focus wise in the vagina attainment and the sexual satisfaction. But if I don't say anything about, oh, oh, your star sign is really compatible with some crap about crust, then I'm not going to get anywhere because I've got to go through these friggin' arbitrary bloody humps that women put in the way. Am I really important to you? Well, fucking no, you're not. But your vagina is attached to you, and I suppose you have to come along for the ride so that I'll get one. And frankly, women do need a bit of training too. There's a few things that women should be bloody nagged about. Namely, if by the end of the second dinner there's been no sexual intercourse forthcoming and there's any mention of a frickin' church, dump, destroy, ignore. Erase the phone number, burn down her house, and get the fuck out of there because there's been no sex without begging for the rest of your disappointedly short <laughs> life. Women like that give men heart attacks because it's their own nervous system going, you failed, give up. Anyway, bloody, the other thing that women need to know, and men need to enforce these bloody things, that sex is a part of these transactions. They are transactions. They're going to be faked and feigned interest in pointless bloody things like, oh, I don't like the colour of the new barinas. I don't give a shit if you walk with sticks on your head like a fucking peasant, bitch. I just want to fuck you. <laughs> Right? At the end of the day, too, if she dumps him, and men, you need to understand this, if she dumps him, do not go over to her house to chase spiders, prowlers, or listen to emotional problems about cousin Elaine because she's got some fucking problem with a family problem from years ago. No, 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 no. No sex, no boyfriend privileges. Let the garbage pile up. As no. it, as yeah, it, and me. We're gonna, we're gonna just sit for a while now, okay? Okay. We're, we're gonna we're gonna move on. So we'll just wait. And I'll just go. And well, no, I think it's fair enough. Men need to bloody get with themselves on this one. Wait a second. I'll reframe. So anyway, um, the men who are out doing this, for them, it's a blood sport. They're not actually even that interested in whether they actually have sex with these women. They're really interested about whether they got a kiss close or a number close or an F close. You can guess which that is. But really, it, it's about the sport. It's about the camaraderie. It's not about the women. It's really not about the women. They actually say the more they pick up, the less they like women. So... But are you surprised? Are you genuinely surprised? I mean, if you go through the game and you realise what these idiots have to do just to get a root occasionally, <laughs> are you surprised that they don't like women? Are you surprised that, that, you know, bloody, the camaraderie becomes important? It's okay to be in a football team but not in a pickup club. Well, it's okay to go out with girls drinking nights because that's so pleasant watching these hags with their fucking undies down around their ankles pissing in the gutter. You know, these animals get with their bloody hens parties and think it's just the lasses having a good time. But, but if a boy gets drunk, oh God, quickly, quickly put him in jail because he's hyper thug. And if he's actually sharing an emotional moment with a man at the expense of some fucking drunken idiot girl in the corner who's crying because of a broken fucking hearted idiot Fernando who's off in Spain fucking a ski instructor oh no that's that's just fucking terrible no well you know what maybe maybe a little bit of camaraderie between the boys is a good thing maybe it'll teach them to be a little bit more open with their emotions among their their bros and bros before hoes frankly well i i actually agree with you i okay 
I, I do actually agree with you, Adrian. I think that it's important that these particular men have found something that a sport they can do and a sport that they're all able to do because obviously they never got on the rowing team or the uh, football team. Um, they, these guys are finding friendships within this group and within the pickup artist society. And, you know, it becomes more important to them than anything else, this friendship. So, look, I, I think that's good. I think that's a great thing. Um, it just, you know, it's a bit sad that they had to go to these lengths to find friends. Um, what is good? <laughs> oh, actually, there's a bit where he actually says that he tells women that he's a pickup artist, and what these women do is actually make him wait two weeks before he has sex with them so that, you know, they're not like all the others. Well, he's running games on 10 other women during that time, so he doesn't care if he's waiting two weeks. If he's a pickup artist, unless you want to sleep with a pickup artist, don't. You're not different, you're the same as all the others, no matter what. They're pickup artists, they see women as a prize, not as a person. But... Do something bloody controversial. Here's an idea. If you're going to go out for dinner with a bloke and not sleep with him, pay for dinner. That'll be hilarious. Here's, a, here's a good thing. Why don't you, instead of going to the restaurant, take him out to his favourite burger joint and hang out there watching the footy for three hours? Try it on the other foot for a while and see how just how wonderfully easy it is to entertain these bitches with their ridiculous demands. I think you tend to find that these guys put in way more effort than they're ever given credit for. And look, frankly, let's admit it, there's eight supermodels in the world and the rest of these women are not. Uh, they have aspirations. I mean, I see the, uh, the, the queues in chemist shops going for miles as they pick up the next paste powder or gunk to stick up their doits or in their faces to make them look like Angelina Jolie in a good day and or Cameron Diaz on a bad day. And, and frankly, these guys have got, you know, uh, 500 professional footy players in Australia and the rest of them are like me. Um, dumpy, broken, scarred, and have got bits wrong with them with not nearly enough cock to make it worthwhile. Unremarkable people. And we're already going to climb these mountains of ridiculous belief. I mean, what's wrong with having ten on the go? At least he's getting the sex, as opposed to getting the lip. I agree with Adrian about the dinner. More women should go Dutch. I think it's, it's unfair to expect men to pay for everything. Uh, we do get equal-ish wages now, so we should be paying-ish, okay? Um, but the whole thing about this book, the bit that surprised me the most, was it's actually a love story. In the end, he falls in love and gets a girl. He realises that being pickup artist isn't fulfilling. It's soul destroying and it doesn't make him happy and when he finds the girl of his dreams even Tom Cruise gives him the nod of approval and that is what the game's really about. It's really about this guy learning to have confidence in himself to the point where he finally can meet the girl of his dreams and fall in love. It's so sweet. It is sweet. Yeah. That is sweet. That is nice. It's nice. And uh, in the end to the books that this guy's read uh, in order to get his information are much more valuable than the one he's written. Uh, so if you read Ali, you'd be good. And the um, easiest way to get through this minefield of sexual politics is um, pretty threefold. Don't worry about how you look. Never ever worry about how you look during, before or after sex. No one cares. <laughs> um, and um, if you treat every girl you know as uh, a bloke friend with girl skin on, you're probably going to get into the sack with her. <laughs> well, I, I, as an ex-pickup artist myself, I know that people who are out and about just picking up, just for the game, probably lacking something in themselves. Let's all just be really good to ourselves and to each other, and the more you love this yourself, the more you can love other people, and the more you practice loving yourself, the more you're better at loving other people. A bit of honesty helps too. Honesty, yeah. Mm. Communication, mm. trust, respect, crazy things like that. How about we all treat everybody we meet with a bit of, you know, dignity and respect and um, we'll all have a better time. We really will. We really will. And except girls, buy, buy your own dinner. If that, except that guy who lives on the street and smells like we, don't treat him with a lot of respect because he will try and get money off you and wee on you. And if you want that, that's okay. Yeah. But um, I, I never do. Anyway, um, 
Borrow someone's copy of the game because someone you know has it. Give it a raid. Don't give Neil Strauss any more money. <laughs> Have a good time. Love yourself. Touch yourself. Be good to each other.